I'm here with Taz from Frag Executors. They've just won 69 against SK Gaming. Um, how are you feeling? I mean, it's a great feeling. Uh, we knew that Dust2 is our strongest map, or at least one of two the strongest. Uh, and basically, it was the matter of uh, how SK will play and uh, if we'll be prepared enough. Uh, and it seemed like most of the things clicked for us. It certainly did look like you were really prepared. Um, would you say that, like, I saw you shouting a lot and um, getting in the heads of, say, Get Right and Delpan, do you think that played a, a factor in the reason you won? Uh, well, basically, the biggest reason I was shouting was that we had some fight uh, as in Torres. Mm -hmm. When we were leading 9 to 2 or something like that, we lost uh, one stupid round and then uh, there was some problem for Pasha. Uh, he, was, he started to be nervous and uh, stuff. And I knew that if I will start shouting at some point, he will get like more relaxed, comfortable, because he's like, okay, he's shouting. Then he's always like uh, smiling and stuff when he hears when I'm shouting and leaving. So uh, that was one point. And second point was that uh, when I see that uh, we are like uh, on the other uh, side and we have like 12 to 8 or we are leading, then I start to shout to stamp on the opponent. I want to feel them. Uh, even more that they are losing yeah. so it's not about screaming the whole game but it's about screaming at the right at the right point for me okay so like a moment to take the advantage from the shouting so um, coming we don't know who you're gonna play next yet it's um, you've got to wait for the decider of Navi versus MTW and then they'll play SK um, how confident are you going into your your final games I think that we are confident uh, in our uh, skill in our game but on the other hand, we, had, we have uh, two maps which uh, usually didn't fit us in the tournament in the past. Uh, so it's going to be tough road for us. We can't call it that we are the winners or we are the favorites because the maps favor each of the three teams that they are left in tournament. But uh, we are prepared. We've we done uh, our homework at Tuscan. We've done our homework at uh, Inferno. And uh, I feel that if we will play our game and uh, don't get uh, too far behind uh, at the beginning of the game, then we got, we got a pretty good chance. Okay, so you talked about the maps. Um, they've obviously recently introduced Forge and Mirage. Um, how do you guys feel about these maps being introduced? Do you think it's a good thing? I think it's a great thing. I mean, we needed it. I, as I said in, I think, every interview, uh, we needed uh, some boost of the motivation, uh, some kicking our asses uh, to uh, start doing stuff again, to start winning. Because we are kind of grandpas of the Counter-Strike. We, we play for five years at the top level, at least four of us. And we basically won everything you can win at Counter-Strike. But we still want, to like, at, in, during this year, we are like, uh, okay, we want to prove everybody that it's not only SK, that's not only MTW and Navi. It's not like they're the best teams ever. We want to prove something. And that's why we decided to... Uh, like sit and uh, give it a try again like all in and uh, show the world that uh, the polls are still there so similar to like in 2006 where you guys just came out and you took out the oh. Swedish teams and um, so while on the subject of like the tournaments and upcoming like events you missed Dreamhack and Game Goon but um, you're back here now and you could be the possible two times champions. How important is E-Stars to you? Well, it's, it's not the WCG or ASWC or Extreme Masters, but it's like just, just under them. It's just under those tournaments. Uh, you got all the best teams here, in my opinion. You got uh, everybody wanted to come here. Uh, everybody's trying hard uh, and we're training uh, a lot before this tournament. So basically, it's very important to win this tournament, no matter who wins it. Uh, because it will like show something uh, on the scoreboard. Okay, this team is a team that we need to be scared before the big tournaments, yeah, yeah. and that's always gives you a big advantage when you are like confident, mm -hmm. and the other teams are like respecting you. So, um, if I'm right from my knowledge, you've been playing with Neo for seven years, at least. Yeah, at least seven years. So, um, do you think, say, if either you or Neo was to quit, would the other one quit? Mm, uh, I don't think so. I, I think that uh, our competitive spirit uh, in each of us is so so high that uh, if I would, uh, me or Neo would 
like call it quits and then the other one would start playing even more and uh, even try harder because it's like okay I, I was playing with this guy seven years but now he's gone and I need to take over I, I need to take over even more than I did before so I think that it will just kick the motivation sky high and uh, you would even see a better me or a better Neo. So we're in Korea. Um, I'm not, how many times have you been here? Uh, I, uh, both calls five times. Five times. So um, how are you enjoying it? Has it been as good as usual or is it not one of your favorite locations? I hate the flying thing. I hate the long uh, travel. Uh, especially when we were traveling here, we had like uh, two stops for uh, three of our guys. So uh, I didn't really like it. Uh, but overall, I, I really like Korea. I mean, I like the community. I like the uh, culture in here. Everybody is so nice. Everybody is like so friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, ha we know the staff, uh, we know the organizers uh, like Khan, Khan Yang and uh, Fanny. And uh, I mean, Fanny was always like uh, helping us and uh, cheering for us. So I mean, that's, you feel here like at home. Yeah. Uh, the only thing uh, that basically is different uh, people are more friendly mm. than for example in Poland which is also friendly you should try it uh, but you know it's like you feel that you can go uh, at night whenever you want and you're like safe or lights are everywhere it's uh, the night uh, the clubbing uh, is awesome and uh, the only thing I hate is food I mean we used I used to love barbecue uh, Korean barbecue but uh, after like uh, yesterday or uh, day before I, I was like okay n no more spicy food because it's just messing up with my stomach and uh, I can't just take it I know how you feel um, okay. <laughs> so um, you feel me yeah yeah definitely um, it was my first time trying spicy food the uh, on Friday and wow super spicy yeah. and I thought I like spicy food so but you heard it here first from Taz. <laughs> um, so what I like to do with Up Close Gamers is I like to get advice from the professional gamers like you of what you can give back to your fans. So like, what would you say is the most important um, aspect of being a professional Counter-Strike player and maintaining yourself at the top level so we can give that advice back to your fans? I think it's like, uh, like in this movie, yeah, Never Back Down. It's, it's, def it's definitely one of the most important things like to never... Uh, surrender always try hard never get angry on your teammates never get angry maybe get, get angry on yourself but uh, take lesson from it i mean you play bad uh, you played you made some mistakes learn from it don't be mad at it don't try to find uh, uh, after your mistake what did the other guy do that i died uh, always focus on yourself when it comes to mistakes and uh, trust in your teammates Okay, thank you very much Taz, it's been a great interview and a pleasure. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you.